Expectations from this G20 meeting of finance ministers, that warning from uh, Jack Lou, but no blame yet for the Japanese, is that the message? Um, I think they'll, uh, they're going to have to word the G20 statement extremely carefully con uh, considering very, very fragile uh, market sentiment right now. I, I suspect that this statement will effectively be a reiteration of the last G20. Um, I think the one area that, uh, that the market shouldn't actually be worried about right now is the Japanese economy. Uh, because if you look at the, the recent forecast out from uh, bodies such as the IMF, uh, Japan's one of the few major economies where economic forecasts are actually nudging higher. But the other side of it, of course, is that the Japan made a, a positive statement, if you like, and, and some are saying that, that was the, the trigger for the plunge in the commodities market, in gold in particular, and, and the halt in the rise of the equity markets. Is it as simple as that or, or much more complicated? Yeah, I think the market's conflating two actually unrelated um, incidents. I mean, like, the reason why you're seeing uh, risk markets pull back, the reason why you're seeing commodities plunge, is, is, is a global growth scare. Uh, and this has been uh, really flagged in bond markets over the last uh, four or five weeks, where you see major declines in, in core yields, 400, 500 basis points at the 10-year level, uh, lowest ever yield on the German 10-year bund yesterday. Uh, and, of course, you've had this string of weak data out of the U.S. in terms of consumer confidence, retail employment market and of course you know this has been topped all by that very uh, weak GDP release from China uh, first thing on Monday morning. But a flight to safety, forgive me for asking, would normally mean you'd, that gold was rise, it's plummeting. Yeah, one would have thought so, but I mean, the, the, the historic uh, status of, of gold as a safe haven asset has, has really just gone by the, by the wayside. And now if people are worried about the, the outlook for the global economy, they buy the dollar.